Greetings, I am Giuliano. We are the Acturians. You are laying the foundation for this project, and you have done a fantastic job in promoting and starting planetary healing energy through the network of the Group of 40. Let us for a moment think about the new technologies that you and I together are introducing to the planet. Yes, it is true that the native peoples have been doing biorelativity and planetary healing for a long time throughout recorded history. But what is different now is the global connections that you are making. What is different now is that never before in the history of this planet have spiritual people, starseeds, been able to immediately link themselves with this planetary healing work. And this is a tremendous achievement. This is a tremendous advantage that exists because of the social media, because of the internet. N nonetheless, it is the global aspect that is working. Now, we are also seeking to help you connect with Arcturus and the Arcturian's, Arcturian energy, such as on the etheric crystal. We are seeking to connect you with the galactic center. We are seeking to connect you with the ring of ascension. You can see and understand that Earth is not alone. You can understand that Earth cannot solve this planetary crisis by herself. There must be a higher dimensional input. There must be higher dimensional energy to facilitate the transition and the healing from this planetary crisis. We talk about this in terms of quantum energy and quantum healing. And I use the term the Omega Man Woman to help you understand that humanity is going to make a quantum leap in consciousness. And your work here in the group of 40 is part of the foundational transition. Your work in the group of 40 is helping to expand the planetary consciousness to include the fifth dimensional, higher dimensional light and higher dimensional energy. And that is what is unique about the group of 40 work. That is what is unique about the starseed work. That is the healing and the resolution of this planetary crisis requires and will include the higher dimensional input. From that standpoint, I say to you that you have established a great foundation. <clears throat> and this foundation is going to expand. Remember that I and my team, Octarian team, travel around this galaxy. We visit and have visited many other planets. Our estimate, our recent estimate, is there's approximately 5,000 planets in the Milky Way galaxy 
that are having higher civilizations. Some of those higher civilizations are more advanced than yours, but some are in the same situation. I would recommend or I would assess that there are 10 to 12 other planets that are in similar situations. What is the situation that the Earth is in? I say to you that the situation can be described as the conflict between spiritual wisdom and technology. I would say to you that this is the conflict that is characterized at the end of stage one of planetary development. So there are five stages of planetary development, and each stage is recommended, or each stage is going through a particular conflict. This is similar to when a human evolves, there is a conflict between two polarities. And this polarity must be resolved because the lack of resolution of this conflict, that is the conflict between spirituality and te technology, this conflict, if it remains unresolved, will lead to the destruction of the civilizations on the planet. The Earth herself will not be destroyed, but the civilization that you now know and enjoy will be destroyed. And we, the Octurians, do not want that to happen. The higher masters, the higher dimensions, including the Ascended Masters, including the galactic spirituality, including the native peoples and the Ascended Masters from each side of the sacred triangle, do not want to see this planet destroyed. And therefore, there is a concerted effort by all sides of the sacred triangle by the Ascended Masters of the White Brotherhood's White Sisterhood, by the Native Ascended Masters, the Native Peoples, and by galactic spirituality, including the Acturians, the Pleiadians, the Andromedans, many other higher beings from other planetary systems throughout the galaxy. This is a unity. You are the first and only group that is working on the sacred triangle. You are the first and main group that is developing biorelativity. You are the first and only group that is working on the Planetary Cities of Light project that includes networking. This is one of the keys of the Planetary Cities of Light project is the networking. That is the connections with one planetary city of light to the, to the next. And yes, the future is going to include a quantum growth. Why? Because this, what you are doing, is the foundation for spiritual planetary progress and planetary, planetary healing. The, the solution to the Earth crisis will come from a spiritual awakening on the planet. And part of that spiritual awakening has to do with the evolution into Homo Omega, the next stage of evolution of the Homo sapiens. And that stage of evolution includes higher consciousness, expanded consciousness. And so there is a lot to teach. There is a lot of technology, spiritual technology. Just think about how advanced spiritual technology has come in the past 2,000 years. Just think about the fact that 
there are no secrets. There is no hidden knowledge. The knowledge that was once hidden is open to everyone. And the problem is in unity. The problem is that we have to overcome duality and realize that we are living in a holographic world. <clears throat> now, a holographic world means that you on the earth are representative of the galaxy. That means that the conflicts and the <clears throat> unresolved problems are of a galactic origin. It is important that you understand you do not have all of the information on why this crisis on this planet is unfolding the way it is. By that I mean <clears throat> there are unresolved inherited karmic problems that have come in other parts of the galaxy and have been translated and transmuted into the earth. I will not go into any, many of the details, but let me just say that we understand this because we have already diagnosed planetary one, planetary two. We've seen other planets. We've seen other planets be in exactly the same state that you're in that actually self-destroyed. So we have experience and we know uh, what, what happens. But we've also seen planets successfully resolve and move on. And that's what we are helping and we are planning for the Earth. Let me say another word about quantum light and omega light. Because this quantum world is becoming conscious. And the nature of the quantum world follows different rules than the natures of duality, than the, than, than the nature of polarizations, than the karmic laws of cause and effect that you are experiencing. Because if I add up all of the cause and effect, and I say, what is the probability of the Earth solving this problem? The probability would be very low. Just think about some of these unresolvable situations, such as the climate. You keep on hearing every day, Oh, this is the last chance. This is the last chance. And the, the scientists have all these models. And if you don't make immediate reductions in certain pollutants, then there's going to be, as you say, hell to pay uh, in terms of what's happening in the client, in, in the climate. But realistically, if you add up the probability, there's no way that the modern governments are going to agree to dramatically and instantly change. That's why the obvious solution is spiritual. The obvious solution is to connect to the fifth dimensional energy for the healing, for the new thinking, for the new way that is representative of Homo Omega. Because Homo Omega goes beyond the logic and goes into the quantum world. And the quantum world is, on the one hand, random. But on the other hand, the quantum world responds to consciousness. The quantum world responds to higher consciousness. Oh, mega light.
We are happy to provide the new spiritual technology. We are happy to work with you on the cosmic egg, on the ring of ascension, on the central sun, on the galactic achina, on the healing chambers, on holographic healing. All of these things have one thing in common, higher consciousness expanded consciousness with connections to the fifth dimension this planet can overcome the planetary crisis there is no doubt and the future of the group of 40 is moving in the right direction towards healing towards expanded awareness towards the planetary cities of light. Remember that it's sacred energy that creates a bubble of a light field, an energy field. And that energy field becomes stronger and stronger as you, as a group, focus, unite, and work together in unity consciousness there is much more new technology to come in the future from us to you we will not abandon you we will stay with you and we will ensure that your group will continue its important work towards the planetary healing and resolution of this crisis and help to move to planetary two stage of evolution where you will all be relieved and grateful for the efforts that you are now making. Greetings from my starship Athena. I am Giuliano. Good day.